What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Pushing Our Potential YouTube channel, your go-to YouTube channel for basketball breakdowns and instructions. I am your host, Pop, and today we're going to be taking a look at Jimmy Butler scoring 37 points against the Houston Rockets. Now, it is 28 minutes into 2022 and we got a bunch of firecrackers and shit going outside so if you hear a bunch of popping sounds you know that's what it is happy new year to you guys but jimmy butler 37 points i want to see where he got his points from before we get into it make sure you guys like the video comment on the video let me know who you guys would like to see broken down i know lebron james is scoring 36 and counting they got nine minutes left in the fourth he already has 36 points he's been going crazy over the last week or so but I don't want to flood you guys with a bunch of LeBron contents. But uh, subscribe to the channel so we can continue to grow. And then let's get into this film. Corner. Oh, it's like he dared him to shoot this one. The thing about this is he catches this ball right here. Tyler Hero comes to the corner. I don't know why. Spacing is horrible. Spacing is literally horrible. You got three players within 15 feet of each other. He, she pumps fakes he pump fakes here basically daring him you know to shoot and he still lets it fly knocks it down for his first points that's a crazy ass shot to be honest with you good d defense turning into offense getting in the getting in the mix right there there we go mid post iso two dribbles to the middle pull up nothing crazy gets this right here opens up in and out he doesn't really fall forward he's still playing good defense he's there he just gets down here to a spot remember what i said in last night's kevin durant breakdown if you get right here to this to this free throw line and you got the size on the guy it's an easy shot and here we have evidence of that jimmy butler using his 6'6 six, six frame to shoot over the six foot aaron Go eric gordon i'm sorry right over the top of him nothing crazy he's not seven foot like kd but he still gets to that free throw line and just shoots over the top of him because he's using his size post up here fake the pass oh that's nice nice pace going at his own pace here he gets this his cut here which opens up this pass threat jalen green gets caught up on his screen right here and if he wants he can throw that pass right over the top right here to the basket and he knows that he sees his teammate gets hung up on the screen and he's thinking oh that guy's probably open back door let me protect that pass so he jumps in the air to try to block that pass jimmy takes one dribble around him now from a trainer's perspective he could have attacked this angle way tighter he starts here he, he brings his outside foot all the way over here I would like to see him bring that outside foot a little bit closer from here right here to attack his body and really get that space he takes a wide angle which allows this guy to cover ground and get back into the play but he only sets him up for the spin right here because as soon as he gets back into it he slows down spins out opposite right up over the top for a layup another post iso simple 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 gets right down here in the paint two dribbles to get to a spot pump fake and then just raise up over the top that's tough that's great defense too he almost got a hand on that ball but great player great offense beats great defense every time that's that's absurd that's just you know did they call foul? Oh, Lee. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. I wouldn't have called foul there. That's a play on. You got to just let them play, especially because Jimmy kind of initiates that. That foul did not need to be called right there. Either way, and one three-pointer. Right back down here in the post against a rookie, Jalen Green. Turnaround jumper. Boom. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, this game, he's he's using his size on these guys. He's using his size and getting those mismatches. Right down here in the post. Puts his body into him. 
one dribble turns around notice how when he initiates the turnaround his back foot drops but his eyes stay inside he stays looking inside as his back foot drops and then he turns his eyes at the last second to try to hold the defense it's kind of like when a quarterback drops back for a pass and you look this way knowing the whole time you want to pass this way you want to hold the defense with your eyes so if you're going on that turnaround you want to look inside and at the last moment turn outside And if they're going to continue to put Jalen Green on him, he's going to shoot over the top of his ass all game. That's a mismatch. He's a rookie. What the hell was that? Oh, man. He need to watch a breakdown or something. He's got horrible pivot work down there. Dunk off the vert. I like it. Defense and the offense again. Getting out in transition. Pull up. Yep. Good shot. Right here. Getting out in transition, and uh, the defense loses you. You know? They're just they're trying to get back. They're trying to match up, and they're just lacking. So get to that open space, this open space right here, and just raise up for your shot. That's a very simple read. Back down once again. Yeah, if they're going to keep putting these little guys on them, he's going to keep punishing them. Get that mismatch. Back them down. Turn out. What he could what what he could have done better is he could take a take a page out of LeBron's book. When he when he makes these post spin outs, these disengage disengages. He takes this inside foot and he turns it to where he wants to go. And here you can see he t he kind of does a negative step. That foot goes backwards before he turns and, and, and drives. No, take that inside foot, plant that hard over here, and pivot out of that. And then you know you could you could you could drive right past him when you turn that corner. Either way, he still manages to get past him. Pump fake down here in the paint. Two foot hop. We talked about this in the last two. Boom. Two foot hop pump fake and that gets this guy out of the way that's why the two foot hop is so valuable boom pump fake get this guy out of the way get your space and then go right up mm. just using the size right there you're too little grown man strength and again back to the basket Yep, great pivot work and one. Great work. You see, he starts off with the ISO triple threat face up, and he's not gonna do anything crazy. I have this mismatch. Let me get right here. Boom! Back to the basket. Now I have the advantage. I have the leverage because I have the size and I have the strength. So, two dribbles right down here into the paint. Once again, hold the defense with your eyes looking inside. Spin out at the last second. Pump feet. And that gets him all the way out of position because last time he got down there in that position, he turned around and he shot the ball. So now you turn around, pump feet. He's out of position. Now you have all the space you need to go up strong. Another pump fake and one. So looking at this shot chart right here, I like to see that he made a very concerted effort of punishing these little guys in the post. Guards, whenever you have a mismatch on a smaller guard, take they little ass down there in the post and, and destroy them, man. Punish them. Make them switch. Make them have to bring somebody off the bench to guard you. Because you know what that does? That neutralizes potentially their best player. Because now they can't stay in the game. Or they got to switch and put somebody else on you. Then we just cause havoc. But if you continue to put pressure on the defense by punishing these little guys when they're on you, good things happen. And you see it right here. He was every every time he had one of those little guys on him, he might have caught it out here on the three point line, turn around, back his ass down and then go to work. It's really that simple. You know what I mean? Nothing. The game doesn't have to be hard, especially when you know how to play it and you know where to get shots from. And that's why channels like this exist. 
because we look into the film we show you guys where to get shots how to get shots and in what situations the best shots come okay stay tuned for tomorrow's breakdown don't forget to like the video comment subscribe add me on instagram dt973 pushing our potential and we out